Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I am here to show you one of the best ways to get a ton of stuff using the grinder, which might be one of the most important things on all of this new map of Genesis because of the store. Now, the reason that I'm going to put it up there with one of the most valuable things I'm going to show you in a second right here. I'm going to go ahead and toss all my gas in here first. And uh, you can see that I've got a ton of stuff that I've been getting. Actually, shockingly easy. And uh, I'm just going to like toss all this out because I have no need for it. Yeah, there goes that. So, kind of like raining little supplies. So what you're going to do is actually pretty easy. You're just going to have it available. And we're going to exchange our hexagons. And we're just going to do a full slot cap of tier 3s, right? Now, when you do a full slot cap of tier 3s, you get a whole bunch of resources first off. I mean, grinding is no longer an issue as long as you're like going around and actually fighting the end game stuff, which is pretty cool. But you end up getting a load of replicators. Almost every single one you get. As a matter of fact, I think it literally with every single one I got, I get a replicator, which is kind of OP, but you know, to each their own. You can just sit here and grind yourself up an absolute load of repis, which is obviously a little bit OP. And this is not on like an S plus one. This is a regular one. And obviously you're going to have to have quite a few points in order to do something like this, but it's still worth it because look at this. I just got a load of stuff, tons of black pearls, tons of ingot, tons of crystals, and tons of organic poly. Now that is just this, and again, I'm just going to throw it all out because I want to show you guys what else you can like get from these grinders. It, this is going to be a really OP strategy in the long run of things. I'm going to go ahead and toss some of this in there because we're going to say that I don't need the structure. I don't need this. I'm just going to toss it there, grind stack. Look at that. Look at how much you can actually get from the store method. Like, you get loads of structure, and obviously you get more stuff. I can grind up the poly if I really wanted to. I don't need to. Actually, I just get a bunch of hard poly. That's pretty nice. Even some of the um, gear and stuff is super nice to grind up. I'm just going to go ahead and grind up this too, because, you know, why not? And there you go. There's a resource run right there. Not only is that a resource run, I just got a behemoth gateway too, so check this out. Yeah. This is how you're going to be able to easily, in the long run, do resource runs, because this is just nuts. Look at that. I don't even need to go out and do a meta run, because I just did store stuff. Now, in my opinion, people are going to figure out how to get a ton of points really quickly, like running motor over and over and over again. But, you know, to each their own. Look at that. There's a full resource run. Didn't go anywhere. I still have a whole bunch of other stuff that if I really wanted to, I could grind up. I don't feel like it right now. But I could. It's the point. And, uh, you know, just going to just gonna toss this all. Because why not? It's raining resources. Literally everywhere. Resources are everywhere. That's kind of a cool picture there. Lots of Lots of resources to be rained upon the earth here. Even go into K mode and take a nice picture. Cool. So, I mean, you literally can do resource runs just by doing these stores. And uh, you can get some really, really good stuff first off. Like, I mean, that's not a bad mana armor saddle. As a matter of fact, let's see how much I can actually get from grinding that up. And... Eh, not great. So I take that back. Not the greatest thing. But, I mean, look at this. You just get crazy stuff. So, anyways, hopefully you can kind of help figure this out because once we get towards the end game people are going to start to be like how do I get max amount of resources really quickly do a bunch of those fights and especially if you're solo and stuff like that doing those fights isn't too bad and that's how you can do it especially because you can grind up all of those things I mentioned earlier so anyways hopefully this video helps you out and if you don't mind leaving a like and a subscribe that'd be awesome but other than that teach